we are now joined by Pride head coach Mark Skinner. Mark, could you get us started off with your thoughts on the match? Yeah, look, I think um, if you watch the game, you'll see what it, what the truth is in in the matter. We haven't um, we've competed with the champions for sixty minutes, and then a mistake, and all of a sudden it spirals. They have to defend. Sorry, they have to attack from deep because they can counter attack us because we need to go and get a goal. So, and if you open up against them, they've got the players that can just hurt you on the counter attack. So, um, I think that up until that point, I was really proud of the girls and the effort they put in. It's just always going to be a matter of quality, and that's the thing that has to improve. So, um, I'm pleased with them and what they get, what they give for the shirt. But now it's a quality issue. Both boxes need to work, and that's what we're here to do. Put a door in the front. Mark, you talk about the quality issue. It looked like the turning point in the match was when Rachel Hill just couldn't even put the shot on target after the ball from Chi. In your mind, is that when the match really started to turn, when that one chance went awry? Maybe. I mean, if you score, maybe it's a difference. But I think it's, it's the, that, that's the consistent theme, Jordan, and that needs to stop because it's about... I, I just think teams at the minute are better than us in both boxes. I thought our defence did okay until the point of the mistake tonight. Um, and then after that, they defended some things really well, especially a, a really fast counter-attacking team. Um, but at that point, we're working on it. And I mean, you've seen our training sessions. We're constantly working on, on making things better. We have zones where we should be scoring from, where players need to hit. And we're working with, you know, six of my starting line today are, are, are babies in the league. Like, we've given them their first starts. And they're consistent playing. So... I just think it takes time. Like I am, I'm actually really, really pleased with the efforts they're giving. Like they're they're, they're not letting their head drop. It just needs a matter of time. These are, we, we're giving them an opportunity. We're giving them an opportunity to to play in the best league. So they're going to make mistakes, and we need to make sure that we we're fo focusing to fix those to to win in the future. Scott and Louise. Mark, this was the first time all season that you guys did not concede in the first half. Just what was is the message at halftime, and what did you try to change or keep that up in the second? To be honest, it wasn't even about it, it, like tactically. We, we were fine tonight. We were fine. We were forcing down the outside. They were kicking it off the field. They, they they didn't really have. Haley had very little to do in the goal until the point then where they can counter attack on us. So tactically, they were fine. The girls understand what we're asking them to do, and they were trying. It's just when they make individual mistakes, then it, it kind of kills what you're trying to do. So um, I just think it's the turning points of the game. And the turning points of the game, um, Jordan's alluded to the, the miss from Rachel, but I, I don't think it's that. I think it's the point where we can see that full goal. And it's that lack of communication in that moment. It's only the moment. They need to stop doing that. If they stop doing that, you're in a game. And once we lose that, you lose momentum. And if you know about soccer... If you lose momentum when you have it, you've got no chance. Because you're chasing, they can sit deeper and counter attack. This is a counter attacking league. I love to see the stats about which teams go up in the game and then all of a sudden can counter attack and, and win the game because they can sit deep and counter attack. That's why it's a counter attacking league. So, yeah, the first goal is really important and we haven't taken the opportunities. But I'll keep working and I'll keep working and then when it works, You'll go through all of this that we that we have to face now, and guys, I'm not going anywhere. I don't give up on anything, and my players will never give up on anything. And I'm going to make sure that this team is something that you can, you can be proud of. And for the first time in this club's history, he's thinking about the longevity of the club rather than a smash bang. Let's grab something and run. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give them a youth team. We're going to give them players that want to play for this club and they want to die for this club. And that's my job. And I ain't going anywhere until that's completed. Please. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the quality of passing for your side tonight? Little bits. It was, I would say it's not consistent enough. But look at the composure of Bridget Callahan is, is showing and Marissa Vigiano is showing under extreme pressure in midfield. Their ability to protect the ball, they're listening. It's taken this time to wait in the wings, but they're listening. We, we understand the, the physical frailties that we have at times because a team like North Carolina, they're built on fitness. Of course they are. They're built on fitness. We need to improve that by recruitment in the future and so on. But what we're asking them to play, that, that, there was times those players are absorbing the ball in the tight areas and losing it. 
And that's what my teams will do in the future, but they'll make better decisions in both boxes. And that then, the link up and driving and manipulating the opposition, is just too spread out. It's not consistent enough. And it hasn't been for, well, since I've taken over. It's too erratic. And that's the thing that will improve with time. Mark, your messaging and your belief have clearly been consistent since you got here, but at what point does frustration with the women start to happen. Happen. It's not going to happen, Julie. It's not going to happen. Look, it, as soon as I get frustrated, and look, I have to swallow a lot. I'm not, I'm not sitting here and going, oh, it's brilliant, I love being me, I love being this, it's great. No, 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 I'm swallowing a lot. But that's my job. And my job is to calm, focus, and know what's around the corner. Guys, you've seen, the, you've seen teams built where they've... they've Lost, 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 lost. And all of a sudden, a year down the line, they've got those players that understand, they believe. We're giving six young players an opportunity to play in the NWSL. We're giving something most teams are not. And it takes time. So now my frustrations won't show to the players. I'll take it on the chin. And everybody can hate me. It's fine. They can say it's my fault. Tactics this, tactics that. Everything's all well and good when you, when you manage a team on a computer. But for me, in real life, when you're dealing with real people that don't have the experience that they need in basic understanding, then I'm going to swallow it and I'm going to make sure they know what they're doing. And that's my job. And that's the hardest part of my job. But it's the, most, it's the thing I love the most. So I'll take all the flag. You, you can hate me, sack me, all that, sack Skinner, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not going anywhere. Because this team believes in what we're doing and I believe in what we're doing. And we're going to make sure we get to where we need to be. Um, you brought in Joanna and uh, Danica in the second half. So what did you make of them when they came in late in the game? I thought they did well. I, I think, you know, the consistency of the performances last week of Bridget and Marissa meant that they got another star. Danica has slowly, slowly, and, and for the slowly worked herself back into the play. I'm going to be really honest with you, Danica was not up to scratch when we first pick, came in. Now she's swallowed that, she's worked hard in training, and now she'll get her opportunities to do what she needs to do. So, I, and that, that's on me. I, I love the girl to bits, but she's got to work harder. Because for this team, you have to want to die. And until we get that, they're not going to play. And I'll take the flack of, yeah, she's good at this, she's good at that. If you don't run, you don't play. And that girl now has turned her attitude around, she's focused on what she needs to do, and now she'll start to get her opportunity, because she's earned it. And now, now I can look at her as a player for this team. Coach, with the league going into a hiatus for the World Cup, what are you planning to do and utilize that time? We've already seen that. We've obviously signed um, Claire Emsley. That's part of, that's a brick in the wall for the future vision. It's a future idea about what we need in wide areas, the ability to cross channels very quickly. We're looking, we're focused. This team will not be the same team, I told you that. It's just very frustrating with the way that the, what we were left, and I'll leave it at that. So how the situation we were left and you've got all these young kids coming into our team that are, that are breathing the breath, they're defining the badge because they love, they want to be here, they want to fight for this badge. And once you have that, the quality that we have with our international players, they come in and they sprinkle on a hard working foundation. Without that, you build your castle on sand and I'm not doing that. I'll, I'll face the hard parts and I'll build it effectively and it will take time and then you'll have a real job with it. You'll have a, a real team that Orlando can get behind. What's the last question? Thanks. Coach, um, after a game like this, obviously going into the hiatus, what are you telling the ladies now? Um, what have you said to them in the locker room afterward? Do you know what? I said exactly the same. I'm proud of them, guys. I'm proud of them. Look, you can forgive somebody that doesn't have the finishing touch, especially if they're young. You can forgive them, but if they don't give you everything, there's girls walking off that field that have never played before in this NWSL and they are drenched and they are drenched in the sweat for the team and that I can get behind, I can forgive the mistakes in the future they've got to rectify them, they can't keep making mistakes but I can get behind that guys, you can get behind a team that want to fight for the badge, you can get behind that and now going into this I'll say exactly the same this is the focus, this is the vision, this is where we're headed on the way we're going to face, and I'll sweat, we're going to face the shit. We're going to face it. Okay? And we'll face it full frontal, and we'll take it, and we'll move forwards. Because nothing is built in a day. 
and that's what we're building here. So the message will stay the same and it has been consistent throughout. We'll work hard at being better at the things we're not good at and we'll fix them. And then in the future, I'll have the experience to go and put that into performances to win games of football. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Guys, I just want to say thank you to you, Jordan. I know that this is your last game with us. And I'd like to thank you. I, I really enjoy your coverage. I really enjoy the energy and commitment you put into this team. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.